Hello guys, in today's session I am going to talk about what is routing and what is routing. There are so many people they have a little bit confusion about what is router and what is routing. They are thinking both are same but it's not the same. So what is the difference between router and that routing that we are going to discuss about in this session. So first of all what is router. So uh, before router, before router and routing as you can see here is a topology where I have con connected two different net router okay see this one is my router one router 2 is connected router 1 is connected to one switch and router 2 is connected to the another switch and switch is connected to here two users and this switch is connected to the another users okay so first of all what is router router is a device which is working on a layer 3 layer 3 that means a network layer if you know the OSR layers so you should know what is layer 3 layer 3 is a network layer on network layer router is a device which is working what is the use of router suppose that you have two different networks now you can see here is a one network 192.160.1.0 network and here is another network 10.0.0.0 because this is the class a network and this is the class c network so now if you want to connect multiple network for that purpose you need a device that device is called as a router okay on router so now you can see here this router is connected to switch correct and this switch is connected to these two users so now here is a one LAN network so this is complete our one LAN network just consider this is my site A and this is my complete LAN second LAN network this is my site B okay now just consider this is site A users 10.1.1.1 and 10.1.1.2 want to communicate with 20.1.1.1 and 20.1.1.2 okay so suppose that if I did the connectivity just consider here is my router I created my LAN network with the help of state cable here I connected the state cable I have configured all those things router to router communication I just uh, I use cross cable just consider or use state cable I have configured both router IP address I have configured later on this side you can see here is a state cable is connected router between router to the switch as well as switch to user I have connected all this cable connectivity as well as I have provided IP address all configuration I have done just consider like this okay still you can see these users these two users on site A they won't communicate with another user which is sitting in site B why because for this two different network communication we need a protocol that protocol is called as a routing protocol routing protocol is a feature which is working on a router with the help of routing protocol we can communicate to or multiple networks to each other okay now what are the types of routing protocol there are many types of the routing protocol so what are the routing protocols that i'm going to explain so first of all this is a igp and second one is the egp routing protocol suppose that if you are fresher and you are learning ccna in ccna maximum they are covering cc igp routing protocol integrative routing protocol integrative protocol okay so as you can see here eigp protocol osp protocol re protocol static protocol and default routing protocol which uh, I used to going I used to cover in CCNA portion suppose that if I talking about the EGP protocol exterior gateway protocol in the exterior gateway protocol there is one protocol that called as a path vector protocol BGP protocol border gateway protocol okay so that part mostly cover in the CCNA po CCNP portion not CCNA portion so forget about these things so IGP protocols so with the help of any protocol suppose that if I want to use routing in function protocol RIP protocol with the help of routing to information protocol we can communicate that is possible if I talking about the EIGRP protocol EIGRP protocol that is called as an enhanced integrated gateway routing protocol I can communicate two different networks that is possible suppose that if I plan for using the OSP protocol that is also possible because with the help of OSP protocol also so what is the difference between RIP, EIGRP and OSP every routing protocol having the different different features different different so what are the function that for that purpose you need to understand what is routing protocol okay after routing protocol you need to understand how RIP work how EIGRP protocol how e OSP is to work okay once you understand what what are the feature of those protocol then you uh, get to know which protocol need to use in which uh, network so for that purpose you need to have understanding about all this protocol 
so that's it this is all about router and the routing protocol hope you like this session thank you so much